Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 28th of 2022. Well, it is titled North Celestial Tree. So what do we see here? Well, we do see the image of the tree in the foreground. And if you follow the larger tree there and follow its branch up to the central portion uh, and then a little bit to the left of center as it moves up there, you see that it is pointing at a star. So the image was set up by where you set up the camera so that the tip of that branch was pointing towards Polaris or the north, which is very close to the north celestial pole. So Polaris has been a very important star, not because it's one of the brighter stars in the sky, it actually ranks about 50th, meaning there are dozens of stars that are brighter than it. But because of its location in the sky and the fact that it happens to be located close to the North Celestial Pole. Now, why is that important? And in, in the past, it was extremely important for things like navigation. When you're traveling across the ocean, for example, with no landmarks, how do you tell if you're drifting north or south of where you intend to go? And that is a difficult thing to know if you're just just looking around. You have no landmarks out in the ocean, no way to tell if you're drifting too far north or south. So if you're heading across from Europe, say to the United States, how do you know if you're going to end up in Boston in the northern part of the US or in Miami in the southern portion. And what you could do was to measure the altitude how high the North Celestial Pole or in this case Polaris was above the horizon. And that would then tell you your latitude, because it turns out that the altitude of the North Celestial Pole, how high it is above our horizon, is exactly the same as the latitude of the observer. So if you notice the pole star starting to get higher in the sky, you knew that you were then traveling too far north. If you noticed it on the other hand getting lower in the sky you knew that you were heading too far south and you could adjust your path accordingly so you could end up much closer to where you wanted to. Now we note all the other stars and that they seem to make circles around this. The pole, the North Celestial Pole, is a fixed point in the sky. You can look at it as the extension of Earth's North Pole out into the sky. So everything seems to revolve around that. And you'll see that as you get further and further away, the arcs get longer and longer, and that all of these stars are then making circles around the North Celestial Pole. Some of them further away actually cross the horizon and will rise or and set. And that's when we see stars rising and setting is that they're far enough away from the pole. Now, if you look at the closer ones, you can see that some of those will never cross the horizon and remain visible. These are what we call circumpolar stars, stars that will remain above the horizon at all times. In mid to high northerly latitudes, things like Ursa Major, which contains the Big Dipper, is one example of this. From many northerly latitudes, it remains above the horizon all the time. However, the, since the positioning of the pole star changes, which stars are circumpolar depends on where you are on Earth. If you are at the North Pole, the pole star will be straight overhead and every star that you can see will be circumpolar will never rise or set. If you're at the equator, on the other hand, the pole will be on the horizon and every star will, will seem to rise and set every day. For intermediate latitudes, it's in between. Some stars will remain circumpolar, never crossing the horizon, and others will rise and set. And the amount of them and then which ones they are depends exactly on where you are on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for July 28th of 2022. It was titled North Celestial Tree. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Aurora Australis. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.